Have you ever wondered why there are different blood types? What if you need a blood transfusion and receive the wrong type? Or if a mother's blood is different from her baby's? And is it true that there is a special blood type that makes you resistant to malaria? A blood type is like a secret code in your red blood cells. These codes, called antigens, are like small identification flags on your red blood cells. Red blood cells are responsible for transporting oxygen throughout the body. Antigens come in two main types, A and B, and they can either be present or absent. But who controls these antigens? It's all thanks to your genetics. You inherit one set of antigens from each parent. And depending on which ones you receive, you end up with a specific blood type. There are four main types. Type A, red blood cells have only A flags. Type B, red blood cells have only B flags. Type AB, these lucky ones have both A and B flags. Type O, these people lack both A and B flags. But there's another layer to this story. There's a protein called RHD that can also be present or absent in red blood cells. This adds a positive or negative sign to your blood type, making a total of eight possible combinations. And you might be wondering, why does this matter? It's all about safe blood transfusions. If blood types aren't compatible, it's like sending blood oxygen to the wrong address. The body can attack the foreign cells, causing a big mess. This is serious and can lead to death. That's why there are numerous medical protocols related to blood donation and transfusion. But here is the good news. Some people are universal donors, meaning their blood can be donated to anyone. Type O negative is the superhero of blood types, lacking both A and B antigens and the RHD protein. Anyone can receive this type of blood in an emergency. On the other hand, some are universal recipients. Type AB positive has both A and B flags, allowing them to accept any blood type. However, finding this type for a transfusion can be tricky, as it's a rare blood type, with AB negative being the rarest, representing only 0.6% of the US population. So, which is the most common type? With 37.4% of the population, type O positive stands out as the most prevalent blood type in the USA. And it's not just in blood transfusions that problems can arise. If a father has the RHD antigen, but the mother does not, this creates a scenario of RH incompatibility during pregnancy. It's as if the mother's immune system sees the baby's red blood cells as invaders since they are different from hers. This can lead to serious complications for the baby, such as anemia and even miscarriage. But wait, how can this be avoided? There's a vaccine called anti-D immunoglobulin, which acts as a peacemaker in this case. Given to the mother during pregnancy or after childbirth, it helps train the immune system not to attack the baby's red blood cells. But that's not all. Blood types also influence your health. Studies suggest links between blood types and certain diseases. For instance, blood type O may offer some protection against malaria, while type A may be more susceptible to stomach cancer. The associations between blood type and diseases are complex and influenced by other factors such as genetics, lifestyle, and environment. Therefore, one should not determine health status or make medical decisions based solely on blood type. So how do I find out my blood type? Knowing your blood type is important for understanding your health and ensuring safe transfusions. There are many ways to find out, from visiting a doctor to using a home testing kit. If you found this helpful, YouTube thinks you'll like this one next.